A Clackamas County family wants to know why a sheriff's deputy shot and killed their beloved pony. They say it happened without them knowing and for no good reason. K2's Hillary Lake joins us now with a story you'll see only right here on K2. Why do they start doing their own detective work here? Well, Steve, they don't want other families to have to go through this. They claim the pony was fine. His only symptom, old age. A top veterinarian is even backing that up. The pony was healthy enough to escape from his barn before he died. He locked his stall door, and I always do a double check. Krista Fitzgerald knows her way around a horse barn the way most of us know how to ride a bike. It's second nature. The next morning, I came back out before I had class in the morning, which is around 10, and he was gone. She knew Gurr, her family's 30 year old American miniature horse, couldn't have gone far from their barn in Malala. So we started knocking door to door, and the first house we came to, he was laying in their yard. Krista thought Gurr was taking a nap. Turns out he took a couple bullets. We walked up closer and I bent down to pet him, and that's when I saw the pool of blood behind his cheekbone. Then the neighbor came out and told us that she had called the sheriff's department and they'd put him down. When we called the officer, he said that he had gotten out on the highway and had gotten hit by a car and broke both of his back legs. A Clackamas County Sheriff's spokesman says before the deputy shot Gurr two weeks ago, he called the Humane Society, which the Humane Society disputes, and a local veterinarian. I asked the vet about that call. He confirms the deputy told him this. And the officer said that he would take care of the problem on his own and that he all he needed was a number for a rendering service. And in the end, a sheriff spokesman tells me the deputy and his supervisor decided Gurr had to be shot. There wasn't really much I could say at that point because uh, they shot the pony. And she didn't believe Gurr was hit by a car or had broken legs, as the neighbor told the deputy. My vet said that there was absolutely nothing wrong with him. So Krista sent Gurr's body to Oregon State University's veterinary lab for a second opinion. The report says Gurr died by gunshot, but was in excellent body condition considering he had arthritis. I mean, if I had gone out and shot the pony, I'd be in jail right now. That's cruel. But the hardest part of this loss for Krista is explaining to her children why they can't ride Gurr anymore. He was part of our family. There's no way to replace him. The Clackamas County Sheriff's Office is investigating the shooting because Krista's husband filed a report. I also asked the Humane Society if it's investigating this as an animal cruelty case. A spokeswoman told me she couldn't confirm anything tonight and asked me to call back in the morning. I will do that and let you know what I find out here and on Twitter. Yeah, we'd like to follow this yeah, through. Thank will. you. We definitely will. We first heard about this story because Krista Fitzgerald contacted us on Facebook. If you have a story, we're on Facebook and on Twitter or email us at newstips at KATU.com.